In this video, we're going to use the Windows 10 media creation tool that we use to create an upgrade USB device in order to upgrade this Windows 10 professional machine that you see here. So I'll go into my file explorer here, double click on the USB drive, and I'll choose setup. I'll go ahead and accept the user access control and the setup process will begin. This is a fairly quick process, especially using a high-speed USB 3.0 device to upgrade, in this case, a virtual machine. Now, it will work the same on your actual hardware-hosted OS. The big thing is make sure that you know what your OS is. Is it 32 or 64-bit? Create a media creation tool that matches that and also that parallels the right upgrade version. So essentially, if you have home, you're going to upgrade to home. If you have pro, you're going to upgrade to pro. And if you have a Series N software, make sure you get the equivalent N upgrade tool. So as you can see, it progressed rather quickly through the process. Now, it asks me if I would like to uh, download and install the updates. And of course, it's recommended. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll pause while it goes out checks for updates, and downloads them preparing for the install. At that point, it'll go ahead and get a few things ready. I'm going to choose Next once it comes up. And before we can continue on, it's going to present the end user license agreement. Now, if you have never read an end user license agreement, I would highly suggest that you go through and read this. You might be surprised at what you can and cannot do with certain software. Uh, for example, you might find out that you can legally install a software application on multiple computers. So make sure you read through this. I'm going to go ahead and accept the end user license agreement. And it's going to go ahead and check for the updates. So we'll pause while it does this. So it's gone ahead and gotten the updates that we need to install. It's ready to install. Windows 10, and we'll click Install. So this is the restart process here. So this is the first restart to complete the update for Windows 10. So as you can see, now that it's restarted, it's going ahead and doing the upgrading process. So we'll again pause while it does this. There's a lot of code being upgraded here during this process. So just be patient, sit back, relax, and get ready for Windows 10. 99%, almost to 100. And looky there, welcome back. I'll go ahead and log in. We'll use the Express Settings Setup little information on the new apps. We'll choose Next. And it'll restart to finalize and set up our new user account. We'll pause while it does this. As you can see, I'm logged in and I have Windows 10. Hopefully this video helped you to be more comfortable with doing your upgrade if you haven't already done it. As you can see, it really is a fairly simple process made even more simple with the use of the Windows 10 media creation tool. Take care.